Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Skills. I'm about to show you how to get all, all your bell bearings for the Smith and Stones. I'm about to show you all the locations. All right, first, you want to spawn right here at Mausoleum Compound. Just want to mark this area. Follow that on your map. You need to come this way. You're gonna come straight to this cliff. When you get to this cliff, you want to get down there. So you gotta use these to parkour. Use your horse to get to this one. This tunnel is pretty confusing, so... We're right here. Let's mark this location. Alright, it's here. Making it to the boss. Very annoying. this place. You know I mean speed this up? You know, stay to the left right here. Okay, Go this way, straight down past everybody. switch to a blunt item 
to do the most partial damage to this boss. Switch to your blunt item. And it should be pretty good once you get in here. It's not too hard. For the next one, you're gonna to want to be at the outer wall of the Phantom Tree. You gotta get both medallions to get to this location. Access the Grand Lift of Dectus. You can get here. If you don't want to use that way and you don't have a medallion, don't worry about it. You can also come down the Lake of Lorania. You can start here at Lake Facing Cliffs. Make your way all the way through the lake to this narrow path. Follow this path, and you can come up the ladder. There's two boss fights here, but you don't need the deck this to get this area. So, if you defeat those bosses, you'll come out here. You just come to this checkpoint, Earth Tree Gazing Hill, and then make your way to the Atlas Highway Junction, and then make your way to the tunnel. All right, let's get there. This was pretty easy. Just run straight in. Like the grace. Alright. Invisible rod right here. Just jump. You know, stay to the right. Grab it and go. And we're out of here. Finish this if you want. Alright. The next one is in the mountain types of the giants. So of course you gotta defeat those two bosses required to get here. Access this. Once you do and you reach Zamar Ruins, we will be by the samurai. If you follow his course line, he will be here. We just want to make your way to Zamar Ruins Market. This is the location. And let's get to it. You want to follow the route I'm taking if you don't want to get hit, you know, aggro all the enemies. It's pretty straightforward. Grab this spell if you want to. You are on 
on your way to being an Elden Lord. All right, the next bell baron is Crumbling Beast Grave. So <clears throat> to get here, it's a secret area. You have to defeat this whole area. The boss is here. The giant, once you defeat the giant and the forge of the giants, you'll get the cutscene. I'm not gonna do any spoilers, but teleport you here. You will start here exactly. Make your way here. And this would be your first checkpoint. Alright, let's do this. Bust the left. At this point, you're just gonna keep straight. You're gonna have a dragon right here, but don't worry about it, just keep running. Get your stamina right now. Alright. Just keep running. Fight him by all means. Go right ahead. You're tarnished. This is your next grace. All right. Gonna take us a left, a right. Is that right? Take us another right. Might want to grab this item right here. It's a cookbook. Don't get hit like me. When the enemy get behind you, run. Roll. Because they are ridiculously trying to kill you. Alright. Jump straight down. Alright, I like to go this way so I don't get hit. Almost here. Keep running, don't stop. We're here. Alright. This part right here is crazy, so these guys are very, very aggressive, so you might want to learn their movesets. this right and the boss fight will be right here when you come in here boss fight will start kill them and you get your bells all right 